Welcome to Talking Art Encyclopedia. Subscribe now and let's start the conversation. If people knew how hard I worked to get my mastery, it wouldn't seem so wonderful at all. The true work of art is but a shadow of the divine perfection. I am still learning. Every block of stone has a statue inside it and it is the task of the sculptor to discover it. Trifles make perfection, and perfection is no trifle. A beautiful thing never gives so much pain as does failing to hear and see it. Art is never finished, only abandoned. What spirit is so empty and blind? that it cannot recognize the fact that the foot is more noble than the shoe, and skin more beautiful than the garment with which it is clothed. Faith in oneself is the best and safest course. I live like a man who's already dead. Genius is eternal patience. The greatest danger for most of us is not that our aim is too high and we miss it, but that it is too low and we reach it. The best artist has that thought alone which is contained within the marble shell. Beauty is the purgation of superfluities. It is necessary to keep one's compass in one's eyes and not in the hand, for the hands execute, but the eye judges. He who does not master the nude cannot understand the principles of architecture. Good painting is nothing else but a copy of the perfections of God and a reminder of his painting. Art is the queen of all sciences communicating knowledge to all the generations of the world. The true work of art is born from the artist, a mysterious, enigmatic, and mystical creation. It detaches itself from him, it acquires an autonomous life, becomes a personality, an independent subject, animated with a spiritual breath, the living subject of a real existence of being. A man paints with his brains and not with his hands. I saw the angel in the marble and carved until I set him free. I cannot live under pressures from patrons, let alone paint. I have never felt salvation in nature. I love cities above all. I criticize by creation, not by finding fault. It is well with me only when I have a chisel in my hand. The promises of this world are, for the most part, vain phantoms, and to confide in oneself, and become something of worth and value is the best and safest course. The artist must be a philosopher. The greater danger for most of us lies not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but in setting our aim too low, and achieving our mark. He who follows another will always be behind. In every block of marble I see a statue as plain as though it stood before me, shaped and perfect in attitude and action. I have only to hew away the rough walls that imprison the lovely apparition to reveal it to the other eyes as mine see it. I can't live without my art. I have never felt salvation in nature. I love cities above all. The more the marbles wastes, the more the statue grows. Perfection is no small thing, but it is made up of small things. Without having seen the Sistine Chapel one can form no appreciable idea of what one man is capable of achieving. I know that I am mortal by nature and ephemeral, but when I trace at my pleasure the windings to and fro of the heavenly bodies, I no longer touch earth with my feet. I stand in the presence of Zeus himself and take my fill of ambrosia. As every divided kingdom falls, so every mind divided between many studies confounds and saps itself. There is no greater harm than that of time wasted. What you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. The true work of art is a shadow of the divine perfection. My soul can find no staircase to heaven unless it be through earth's loveliness. Art is the shadow of humanity. The true work of art is the one which the sensibility of a particular artist is most deeply imbued. I am a poor man and of little worth, who is laboring in that art that God has given me in order to extend my life as long as possible. What spirit is so empty and blind, that it cannot recognize the fact that the foot is more noble than the shoe, and skin more beautiful than the garment with which it is clothed? There are no secrets about the world of nature. 
there are secrets about the thoughts and intentions of men. If you knew how much work went into it, you would not call it genius. The true work of art is but a shadow of the divine perfection. The greatest artist does not have any concept which a single piece of marble does not itself contain within its excess, though only a hand that obeys can unfold it. Art is the language of passion, the embodiment of thought. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more.